the gold yesterday by uh, over a minute. I think it was 68 seconds his winning margin. They will have been inspired by that. There's no doubt about it. No COVID in their camp, unlike the Japanese. And uh, the Ethiopians looking strong at the moment, just tucked in, letting the Kenyans do the work. So that final, that last split, Tim, was 3.23 through 18k for the leaders. The one before that was 3.11, before that 3.19. So again, a bit up and down. Uh, there are undulations on the course, which could explain it, but they're certainly sped up since that, that, select, that collection of much slower splits from 11 through to 14k. Yeah, there are a few undulations explaining some of those splits, but a 3.23, that is a slow split. It'll be interesting to see what the chasing pack do now. You can see Piasecki, 59.57. So the gap is 35 seconds between uh, the chasing group, the elite group, and the chasing group. That is a big gap. That has uh, grown significantly, hasn't it? So there is the chasing pack. They can see the lead group just ahead of them, the three Americans plus Piasecki. Uh, they were some 35 seconds uh, back at 18K. I get the feeling that Piasecki is doing a lot of the work at the moment in this middle lap. They've been on the uh, roads now for just over one hour. The uh, lead pack on schedule to hit halfway in what about 220 tempo about 70 minutes <clears throat> yeah 323 is around about 222 pace so they've yo-yoed between an inside world record pace and the slowest split so far 334 well Chepin Getic has all of a sudden disappeared we think she might have had to uh, take a bathroom break and uh, the Ethiopians, coincidentally, get in front, start looking around, working together, and there's an acceleration. Early in the race, much earlier than Tola yesterday, but the uh, champion, Ruth Chepin Getic, is not in this lead group anymore. We might be able to have a look at that when uh, Chepin Getic stepped off the course. There she is to left her picture. And that doesn't look like a toilet break to me. That looks like Chep and Gedditch just pulling to the side. No, nope, that is a toilet break, I think. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll guess that one. But that is a, a very, very significant moment. And that could be desperately uh, bad news for Ruth Chep and Gedditch's attempts to retain her title here in Eugene. Because I'm trying to see how far back she is. There's a break-up in the group, and I think that when they realised that Chepin Gedic has stepped off the road, the Ethiopians accelerated. Now, Tanui has got herself to the front. There is Eshte, I think. Salpeta in a little bit of trouble as they go through 19k in 62 and a half minutes. Where is Ruth Chepin Gedic? She hasn't gone through yet, has she? There's four in this lead group. And then another Ethiopian, then the Eritrean, and then Salpeta. But we're down to four at the moment. And Ruth Chepin Getic has uh, not made what you would call a quick toilet break. I remember running a 10-mile race many, many years ago, Mara. So long ago, it was uh, black and white TV. In fact, everything was black and white. It was so long ago. But I remember running in a 10-mile race, and I was about... 25 yards behind the guy and he leapt off the road to have a, a quick toilet break and I thought great I'm going to get past him he was back on the road and running before I got to him it took him about three seconds